good morning students up to yesterday we have discussed about conflict serializability uh, conflict equivalence and view equals today we will discuss about the view serializable now as i said earlier uh, when we can say that a schedule is conflict serializable is that conflict serializable then we will come to the view serializable conflict serializable is if it is view if it is conflict equivalent to any of its serial schedule that's what we have given a definition about the conflict serializability. Let me repeat again. When we can say that a schedule is a non-serializable schedule, non-serial schedule is conflict serializable is if it is conflict equivalent to any of its serial schedule. So with that definition, it is very easy to discuss about the view serializable also. It's non-serial schedule. When I can call it is view serializable is if it is view equivalent to any of its serial schedule. It's very simple. It's same as conflict. There it should be conflict equivalent to any serial schedule. Here it should be view equivalent to any of its serial schedule. So let me give an example to discuss about it. Schedule S1 is there. It has consists of two transactions, transaction 1 and transaction 2. Now transaction 1 consists of a read of A and transaction 2 is consists of write of A and this is right of view. Okay, so this is the schedule is there. Now can you tell me how many serial schedules are possible? We have discussed yesterday also. If we have two transactions, we will get two serial schedules. One is all the operations of T1 will be first done, then T2 and the second serial schedule is T2 and T1. Then when I can call this schedule is view serializable is if it is view equivalent to any of these two serial schedules. If it is both, that's okay. If it is at least view equivalent to any of the serial schedule, then I can say that the given schedule is view serializable. So let me discuss, uh, let me solve it to check it whether it is view serializable or not. So first we will do T1, T2. Let me denote it as S11. Read of A. Right of A, right of A. Meaning is that I am executing all the operations of T1 first, then T2. So this is a serial schedule and this is a non-serial schedule. So we will check whether they are view equivalent or not. So how to identify whether they are view equivalent or not is that we have to check three conditions. One is whether the initial read is done in both the schedules by the same transaction for all the data items or not. And similarly, we have to check the final write. And we have to check write read sequence for write read sequence for all the data items. Here we have only one data item which is A in both the schedules. So let me check the initial read. Initial read for A, only one data item is there, A, okay. So in S1, who has done in S11, which transaction is done? If you see initial read, there is only single read, so that is only initial. So read of A, who is done in schedule S1, T1 has done. And here also T1 should done. Uh, then only that we can say that it is initial reads condition is satisfied. If not, from there itself we can say that it is view equal, not view equivalent. Okay? Here also T1. So, the initial read condition is satisfied because in both the schedules S1 and S11, both the schedules, the initial read is done by same transaction T11. So, now we will see the final write. Who has done the final write in both the schedules, in S1 and S11. There are two write operations. Which was the final write? This is the final write which is done by T1. And here also two writes are there which is the final write t2 now i can say that it is not view equal to why because in schedule s1 final write was done by t1 and in schedule s2 s11 final write was done by t2 so they are not equal here t1 transaction has done the final write and here t2 transaction has done the final write now i can say that final write is not done by the same transaction so this condition was not met. If any one of the condition is not met, then I can say that it is not view equivalent. So 
I can say that S1 and S11 they are not view equivalent. Now let me check the other serial schedule because we have taken with the T1 and T2. Now we will see the another T2 and T1. Another serial schedule is possible for the schedule S1 is T2 meaning is that all the operations in T2 should be executed first then the operations of T1 should be executed. So now we will check whether these two S1 and S12 they are view equivalent or not. So initial read, uh, yeah, let me write it shortcut, initial read was done by whom? In schedule S1, T1 has done. In schedule S12, initial read, this is the initial read is done by T1. So initial read is okay. Same. We'll check the final read. Who has done the final write? Final write here is done by T1 and here also it is done by T1 only. So initial read and final write is okay till now. We will check the third condition. Write read sequence. If you see that there is no write read sequence here. There is a write and after write there is no read operation. Are you able to understand? Here there is a write but after this there is no read operation in T2 and here in T2 I have a write operation but in T1 there is no read operation. So in schedule S1 I can say that write read sequence is not there. Are you able to understand it or not? Whereas in S12, in S12 the write read operation, yeah there is a write and here is a read. So what it is saying T2 and T1. Now in this one there is no right read sequence and here it is there. So they are not equal. If it is not there here, it should also not there here. Then only I can say that they are equal blank. But right read sequence is not there in schedule S1 but it is there in S12. Now I can say that they are not view equivalent. So S1 is not view equivalent to S12 which is a serial schedule T2, T2 and T1. And we earlier we found that S1 is not view equivalent to S11 which is a serial schedule T1 and T2. So the schedule S1 is not view equivalent to any of its serial schedules. Then I can say that S1 is not view serializable. Are you able to understand it or not? Now, let me discuss with another example for you, to for better understanding, let me discuss the view serializable to with another example, example 2, Now we will check whether this schedule S1 is view serializable or not. So how can I check? I need to find all the serial schedules for this one. As there are two transactions are there, two serial schedules are possible. So first we will do the serial schedule T1 and then T2. So I will perform all the operations of transaction 1. Then I will come to the operations of transaction 2. Now we will check whether the S1 and S11 are view equivalent or not. First what is the first thing we have to check whether the initial read is done by the same transactions in both the schedules for all the data items. So how many data items are there? Data item A is there and data item B is there. Here also data item A is there, data item B is there. Okay. So initial read for data item A and B we will check in S1 who has done in S11 who has done. Now you have to find where are the read operations on variable A is there, that item A or variable A, here and here, which is initial T1, transaction T1 has done the initial read. And here also transaction T1 has done the initial read. So it is okay for the data item A, initial read is okay. Now we will see the data item B. Initial read was done by transaction T1, 
and here initial read was done by translation D1. So even for the data item B, also the initial read was done by the same transaction. So I can say that for in both the schedules, so I can say that initial read condition is satisfied for, for the both the schedules. Now we will see the second condition which is a final write. See the final write. For data item A and data item B. Now if you see data item A, there are two write operations. One operation is in T1, another operation is there in the T2. But which is a final? Transaction T2 is doing, transaction 2 is doing the final write. And similarly here also, final write was, uh, okay, final write on A was done, sorry, not B. Final write on A was done by transaction 2. Are you able to understand? Now we will see the final write is done in the schedule S1 is done by Q2 and here also final write was done by Q2. So final write was done in both the schedules for the final write on A is done by transaction 2. Similarly final trans final write on data item B is also done by Q2. So I can say that they are view so final write was done. Now we will see the third condition write read sequence so two out of three condition two conditions are satisfied now we'll see the final write also so write read sequence sorry for it s1 and s2 for data item a and data item b so write read sequence yeah if you see that transaction one is doing a write operation which is reading by the transaction two okay so there is a write read sequence which is saying that T1, transaction 1, transaction 2. Here we will see any right read sequence, there is a right operation. Here it is a read. Even it is also saying transaction 1, transaction 2. Oh, sorry, here I should write. T1, T2. So now the right read sequence for the data item A has done in both the schedules by transaction 1 and for the transaction 2. So it is okay. We'll see the for the data item B. Any write read sequence is this? Yeah, there is a write and there is a read. It is saying transaction one, transaction two. And here also write, read, transaction one, transaction two. Even these two are same. So all the three conditions are satisfied. One is initial read is same, final write is same, and then write read sequence is also same for all the data items. Now I can say that. S1 is view equivalent to S11. Okay, now what I can say about the S1? S1 is a view serializer because it is view equivalent to any one of its serial schedule. So we no need to check what will happen to the transaction 2 and transaction 1. Means serial schedule transaction 2 and then transaction 1. We no need to check it because we already found that. See, S1 schedule is view equivalent to S11. So I can say that S1 is a view serializable. But what is the problem with this one? Earlier, given for checking whether a given schedule is uh, conflict serializable or not, we have discussed two procedures. One is the same way checking the serial schedule is conflict equivalent or not. But what is the problem with this procedure is if the number of transactions in the given schedule is more, the number of serial schedules will increase. If I have 5 transactions in a schedule, I will have 5 factorial serial schedules, which is equivalent to how much? 24 into 5, which is 120. So 120 serial schedules will be there. You have to check view equivalent or not for the all the means all the serial schedules. If you are lucky for the first serial schedule itself, maybe it is will be view equivalent then I, you can say that the given schedule is view serializable if you are not lucky at the one one up to 119 you have done you have not found that they are not view equivalent at 120th schedule if you found that it is view equivalent then you have to say that it is view serializable but how many times you have done you have done 120 times that view equivalent are not like this procedure so it is a tedious process to 
make it fast or to check it whether a given schedule is views serializable or not we can do another procedure which is the procedure is called as polygraph construction using polygraph construction we can check whether the given schedule is view serializable or not in the next video i will discuss about it thank you